and uh, roll out, go grab some breakfast this morning. Today's Saturday, you know what I'm saying? It's always like your day or your days that you're on home time always seems to go quick. Always seems to go quick. Tomorrow's Sunday and I'm back on the road Monday. Tonight, we're told the Dale Bend Bridge has collapsed and an 18 wheeler that had been driving over it fell into the Pettyjean River. Hill County Sheriff Bill Gilkey telling KRK it happened around 8 p.m. in Ola. Incredibly, the driver was able to escape unharmed. The sheriff tells us the driver was following GPS instructions and that this bridge is not fit for a truck that size. What's up, uh, LOM community? I just want to holler at you guys for a minute. You know what I'm saying? talk to you guys about uh what i what i found on uh what i found on facebook which was which was kind of crazy you know we we have all these gadgets that are, that are get us from place to place we got our gps's we got our phones we got our gps's on our phones but you you got to understand something. Let, let me let me help you understand something. If you're going to use your GPS, only use it for only use it for a tool. That's all. That's it. And that's all. Use it for a tool. GPS is, is not 100%. You know what I'm saying? Especially don't use the one that's on your phone. You know, the the one for Google navigation, which is cool on the highway. Now I, I don't have no problems with it on the highway. I, I like using it on the highway it gets you from point a to point b on the highway but when you get off that highway i go back to using my trucker's gps going back to using the trucker's gps man that's what you might want to use now sometimes it'll get you messed up you know what i'm saying yeah it, it'll get you messed up it, it'll coordinate you to uh, a street that you're not supposed to be on, a bridge that you're not supposed to be on. You know what I'm saying? It, it will coordinate you to, you know, in some tight situations. So you got to weigh that situation when you come up to it. You know, that's why a lot of drivers need to have the Ram McNally Atlas. That'll get you out of a lot of jams. Make sure you go grab that, man. Use the Atlas, use Google Maps, and use the Ram McNally uh, GPS. All of them is for tools. The GPS will tell you to turn down. You can't, you can't go down that street. You can't go down that street. But here's a story that I found on Facebook that I found that was interesting that gets too many truck drivers way in trouble and I'm, I'm sure this truck driver right here I can pretty much guarantee that he might be looking for he might be looking for another job right about now trucker follows GPS onto wooden bridge causing it to collapse in the river and this is from CDL for life or CDL life truck driver is lucky to escape unharmed after he followed his GPS into a small Arkansas bridge and wound up in the river. The incident happened around 8 p.m. on Wednesday, January 30th in the Yale County town of Ola, according to the TV reports. Director of the Yale County Office Emergency Management Bill says the unnamed semi truck driver was hauling a load of processed chicken to Danville when his GPS device led him to Dale Bend Bridge. Yeah, that's that that's not a good sight. 
Though there were signs posted everywhere, entrance warning the driver about the six ton weight limit, Getsky said the driver attempted to cross the bridge anyway. The weight of the semi collapsed the 88 year old bridge structure and left the semi partially submerged in the Pet Jean River. Not a good look, not a good look. Unfortunately, the truck driver was able to get out the truck and wasn't hurt. The old, the old love fire department says that the bridge is closed indefinitely. Crews will be working Thursday on trying to remove the truck from the river. Man, man, oh man, oh man, man, my name, my name, man, 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 oh man, oh man. 88 year old bridge. You, you could imagine the tax that that company is about to get for the damage to that bridge. And the, and the bridge is closed indefinitely too? Indefinitely? I wouldn't say indefinitely. Uh, it's gonna be closed for quite a while until they actually come together and start rebuilding that bridge. But as far as the driver goes, his neglect to see the signs that was posted, they said it was posted, so it wasn't like you know, the driver didn't, it, there wasn't no signs and the driver didn't see it. The driver chose to ignore it. So of course he's gonna get a ticket. He's gonna get a ticket for ignoring the signs. He's definitely gonna get a ticket for destruction of property. And, and probably so, all sorts of other tickets that he's gonna get as well. This is, um, this is preventable. This is a, of course, it's gonna be a preventable accident and that's definitely going on his DAC report. Is he able to find a, uh, find work after that incident? Maybe, probably, I don't know, but still, you not paying attention and, and following your GPS, no telling what time of the day or night you should have seen or common sense should have told you that that bridge was unstable for your truck. It happens a lot around the world. You get these new jet drivers that follow their GPSs to the end of the world. You know, you had one that, that followed his GPS onto a beach. You had one that followed the GPS onto another bridge up in PA that was destroyed. And you had, several other GP, uh, GPS drivers, and I say GPS drivers, yeah, several other GPS drivers that, that got themselves in a lot of situations, man. So listen up, you know, I, you know, I don't know if this video will help you out in your travels or anything, but I hope you watch this video and take heed and learn from other drivers' mistakes like this one and others that follows their GPSs and don't take the time to assess the situations that they may or may not get into. You come up to a bridge and you, you know, the GPS say, yo, go straight. And you looking at that bridge like, I don't know, man. Go with your gut. Go with that gut. That gut always tells you if something don't feel right, Go with that gut. If you don't think you can get across that bridge, go with that gut and don't go across that bridge. What you wanna do in situations? Call the authorities so they can help you out of that situation. Now you may get a ticket, you may not get a ticket, I don't know, but at least they're gonna help you out of that situation and you won't get effed up. All right, man, well, I'm, I'm glad you guys stayed long. This is only a small chit chat, you know, truck talk and chill with you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, stop. Oh, stop. They finally got this, they, they finally got it. They finally got this gas station on the corner. Oh, that looked like an arson deal right there. That looked like an arson deal. Anyway, sorry about that. It's this gas station on the corner that always have 
that always have drug and violence and activity problems up here. And they finally, they finally came up here and shut that bad boy down. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell on the way out the door. This is Lockout Men for you guys. And I will come back at you in another Truck talking Chill video, man. You guys take it easy. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. Baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back nah, nah, nah. You gon' have to settle with another man yeah, yeah. But when you realize, don't be running back